and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is seven ways to style a mini skirt. This is inspired by Lisa Ng Marinelli, who's one of my favorite influencers on Instagram. She recently purchased this skirt. I'm gonna style the skirt in the ways that she has on Instagram and kind of replicate those own looks with what I have in my own wardrobe. She has really given me the confidence to push my boundaries with skirts and shorts because I don't normally show my legs. So here they are. Let's be uncomfortable together and see what we get. First off is this outfit. She's wearing an oversized white shirt. This skirt is from Wardrobe NYC and their collaboration with Carhartt. I got this off Poshmark. I'll link the video before where I talk about it. This skirt will feature in all seven outfits. She also is wearing some brown mules. Hers are Amina Moradi. These are vintage Ralph Lauren. Again, I got them from Poshmark. I'll link the video. I don't have the same shirt. This is a linen shirt from Max Mara. My friend gifted it to me. She doesn't wear it. I don't normally wear shirts. I think they can be a bit masculine on me. I'm sure that's all in my head, but I like the vibe. I would prefer if this shirt was more oversized, if I'm honest. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good replication of her look. I think I would wear this. I don't know where, but I like the fit. I don't think it looks too obscene because I've got my legs on show, but my arms are covered. Okay, these blaze outfits, I'm gonna run through really quickly because it is 29 degrees in my room. This next outfit, she's wearing a gray oversized uh, houndstooth checked blazer. I think hers is from Magda Boutram. This one you've seen a ton. It's my trusty oversized one from Everlane. This is a really old t-shirt from Gap. She's wearing some white, I think they're fisherman sandals from The Row. I don't have those, I don't have anything like that. The next best thing I have is these Chloe flat form espadrilles. These I was inspired by another influencer, Life with Erin. She has these in black from Vince. She just looks so good in them. This is my interpretation. I think it's pretty similar. It's giving the same vibe. I feel pretty comfortable in this, so I, I think I would wear this. Let me know what you think. So outfit number three, she's wearing a metallic silver bomber from Chanel. I think she got it from Bestier. I don't have anything like that, but I have a bomber jacket. So this is an old one from Isabel Marie Artois. I'm roasting in this right now because it's wool and leather, but anyway. And then this is a really old rib tank from Topshop. And then she's wearing white shoes that are from Bottega Veneta. I don't have those, but I do have these white shoes from Amina Mawadi. So I actually really like this fit. It does remind me of Panita Stick. So she wears an outfit very similar and it's giving the same vibe. I really like this outfit. I think it's very simple. It sticks to white and black, and I like how it's balancing the proportions. You'll see so far, we've had our legs on show, but our arms have been covered, and I think that's a nice um, balance and an oversized fit on top. It's working really well with the fitted skirt. So this is the next outfit. She's wearing a black oversized um, blazer. I can't remember where that was from. She's wearing a body from Kate in green skirt and then these tartan mules from Manolo Blahnik. I don't have a green cape bodysuit. I have this black one, which I love, so I'm wearing this instead. I could have gone with a green t-shirt or something green as well. I actually understand why she wore something green because I think this is a very neutral monotone outfit. It just kind of, it's hard to see, I think, my figure and shape because it's all black. So I get why she did actually add a pop of green. I think that actually works really well. I like all these elements together. I don't have any closed toe mules, but I do love a mule. So I'm wearing these on shoes from Marion Mrs. Arde. She went to work in this outfit. I personally wouldn't feel comfortable doing that because the skirt is so short. But otherwise I think it's a nice, nice outfit. I think it would look great with like a heel if you're going out for dinner. The fifth outfit is this kind of casual dressed up combination. She's wearing a grey sweatshirt, um, the skirt, and then some strappy sandals from the Attico, and they're kind of like multicoloured snake print vibes. I don't have shoes like that at all. The only strappy sandals I have are these Isabel Moron ones. Lisa always says, for short people, strappy sandals are great for elongating your legs. So here I am wearing them. I don't think it's giving me Lisa it's more giving me French editor, like I would imagine their street style would look like this, just because there's a lot of black and gray, it's quite a somber palette, and I think her snake sandals like make the outfit more vibrant and make it a bit more fun. This seems quite somber and a bit too serious. I think it would be nice if I added 
my oversized Benina Bailey denim jacket just to break up the palette, which is quite serious. But this is a nice outfit. I don't know why I would wear this outfit, but I feel I feel very cool and like edgy. And I just don't know why I'd wear this skirt out. If anyone has any ideas where one wears a skirt like this, please let me know because I have all these outfits now to wear and I don't know. I don't know what to wear them. This is the penultimate outfit. This looks nothing like her outfit because I don't have a plaid shirt from R13, R13. The only kind of plaid item I have is my oversized Jacquemus jacket and that is, it's, it's too hot. It's too hot to put it on so I can't, but just imagine that item. That would give me the same vibe. She's wearing those Attico sandals again. I don't have them so I'm wearing these strappy ones. I feel really comfortable in this outfit because this denim jacket is really oversized. I like how it adds a bit of blue and like a bit of a different lighter colour to the outfit. So I really like this outfit. She was inspired from one of the founders of the Attico. That's where she took the inspiration for this outfit. So all of these outfits have been inspired by Lisa and Lisa's got her inspiration from other people too. So that's how inspo works. I think she would wear something like this. I think her interpretation of this outfit would be she has the wardrobe NYC denim shirt jacket, which is amazing. I think if she wore that with a skirt, it would look so nice. So my last one will just be my own kind of inspo on Lisa and this lovely denim mini skirt. This is the last outfit. I know that she has this top. This is from Arquette. I know that she has this style of shoe from Amina Mawadi, but she has it in brown. And I think she would wear something similar to this, maybe. Again, it's the formula of something oversized, long sleeve to offset and highlight the legs because it's all about the mini. This is my bonus outfit inspired by Lisa. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that it made you think about how you can take influences from Instagram and recycle them with what you have in your own wardrobe. I hope it gave you a bit of confidence to try something different. For me, I don't wear mini skirts. I really want to and Lisa is a great example for me because we're around the same height, the same shape and she loves showing off her legs and wearing skirts and shorts. So I just thought if she can do it, I really want to try and do it. So here I am doing it for you guys. So. I hope that was helpful in some way. I hope it's given you some inspiration. Let me know, how do you feel about mini skirts? Are your legs your best feature, your favorite feature that you like to show off? Are you more of an arms person? Let me know how you wear your mini skirts. And let me know if you've heard of Lisa before or which of the seven outfits you like the most. This was fun. I am sweltering, so I am gonna end it here. But as always, thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.